Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. So, once again, thank you all for the love and patronage shown towards our mobile app. The download numbers have been good, the reviews have been great, and we do apologize for a couple of teething problems that we witnessed, which have been fixed now, by the way. So, make sure if you have already downloaded it, that it shows the current version 3.0. 08 because there were a few uh, issues in the earlier version where the sign in using the google id was not working however that has been corrected so continue using the app keep us letting know <coughs> keep us uh, keep on letting us know how you find it what are the improvements or fixes that you want us to take care of and we are more than eager to listen to you so coming back to today's puzzle. Now today we have a classic Sudoku that I had hosted on my website yesterday. And <clears throat> this was of medium difficulty. I know some of the solving times on the website may not actually show that this was a medium difficult puzzle, but it looks more like a hard Sudoku. However, I just wanted to demonstrate why I personally rate this as medium because apart from your naked and hidden singles, the only other technique that you need to do here is identify one hidden pair. And once you identify that, <clears throat> it's very easy to unravel this pseudo. So without wasting much time, I think let's start off with the pseudo. <clears throat> Sorry, I seem to have a very rough throat today. So, 4, 4. This can be a 4. So, I get a 4 here. 3, 3. This is a 3. 5 cannot be here. 5 cannot be here. So, this is a 5, which makes this a 5 by classic rules. 5, 5. 5 can be here. This is a 5. <coughs> So that's my 5, the other 5 would be here, and these, okay, the 5 will be in all of these. Alright. And then 9 cannot be here, it cannot be in the central box, so this is a 9, this is a 9, which eliminates the 9 from here, it can be here. That's a 9, 9 can be here. So let's pencil mark, which again eliminates the 9 here, 9 cannot be here or here. So this is a 9 and by classic rules 9, 9, 9. Alright, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, okay, okay, this is a 6, this is a 6, so which makes this a 1. <clears throat> Alright. 8 cannot be here, so that's an 8 and that's an 8. Okay, what else are we missing? 3, this and this. 3 cannot be here, so the 3 is locked here, the 3 is locked there. Hmm. Oops, I seem to have forgotten to mute my phone sorry about that ah yes let's look at row one hmm? okay before we do that let's put this pencil mark of two seven what can i have here two seven and eight correct one two is not possible three four five six seven eight all right the 2 and 8 cannot be here. This would be 1, 4. <clears throat> oh, I can't have a 4 there because the 4 would be locked here. So I can't have a 4 there. I can have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, 8 can't be possible because of this. And here I can have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? But now when I look closely up the row, <coughs> I can't have the 2 and 8 
in box two of row one, right? Because you already got the two and eight placed. And in the re remaining three cells, there are only two places where the two and eight can go. Again, two and eight cannot be here. So which means the two and eight in row one can only be in column one or column eight. And this was the hidden pair that a solver had to identify to proceed further. Because now once we know the seven is not possible here, this seven cannot be placed here. So this becomes a seven. And by classic rules, this would be a seven, which makes this a two and a seven. Seven, seven here. All right. <clears throat> so this would be a two, eight, two, three. This is a two, eight, nine. All right. So this would be a one and an eight because by classic rules, the eight has to be placed here. Sorry. One, one. This becomes a one. And this becomes a 1-8 pair, which makes this as a 7. So this becomes a 7. This is a 9 and a 2 to complete the row because we got a 2, so this cannot be a 2. And the final 4, that thing is out from there. <clears throat> so 1 can be there because this is a 3-4 pair. This becomes a 1. Now I see that the one is in box four is logged in rows four and six. And similarly in box six also, the one is logged in row four and six, which means in box five, the one has to be in the central cell. Correct? Or conversely, when you look at it in row five, where will the one come? It can be here. It can be here. It can be here. So this is the only place. All right. So this is a 5 and a 2. <clears throat> we complete the row. So this would become an 8 now. We got the 2. So this is a 2, 8, 3, 2 and a 3. With a 4 and a 5 to wrap that up. Column 6, 3 and 4 are missing. This is a 3. So this becomes a 4 with a 3. And this would become a 4 again. So this would be an 8, 9, 8, 9. This would be a 1, 2. Okay. <clears throat> 4, 5, 7. 4s, 4s, 4. 5 and a 7. So this becomes a 7. In column 4, we required 8 and a 9. We got a 9 here. So 8 and a 9, which makes this 9, 8, 8, 1. 2, 1, 2, and a 3. Yes, sir. System says we got it correct. As I said, the whole crux of this Sudoku was in finding that hidden pair of 2 and 8 in row 1. If you would have noticed, we did not use any other high end techniques like wings or fishes or any of that. Like I always say, even the tough puzzles on my website, I try to ensure they can be solved using the basic techniques of what do you say, singles and pairs, either naked or hidden. At the most, we might venture out into X wing or an XY wing. So I'm giving a, the link to solve this loop online in the description of the video. If you want to give it a try once again, or if you have not done it earlier, go ahead, try it out on your own. So, till the next time, happy solving.